And right now, the House is adjourned until 8 o'clock tonight. Finally, Republicans getting together behind closed doors to try to hash out their differences after all of those failed votes that you mentioned. And right now, essentially, we don't have a Congress. Members aren't sworn in. We don't have committees. We don't have bills. And nothing is getting done. Sure, it looks messy. But democracy is messy. Democracy is messy by, by design. Once again, Republican leaders begged their members to coalesce around California's Kevin McCarthy for Speaker of the House. And once again, about 20 refused to support him. This despite former President Trump reaffirming his endorsement of McCarthy overnight and many conservative media outlets imploring the so-called Freedom Caucus to stop holding things up by seeking an alternative speaker. We are looking for a willing partner to solve problems for the American people not save the Republicans from their dysfunction. Democrats, meanwhile, remain united behind Brooklyn's Hakeem Jeffries to be speaker, but in the minority do not have the votes either. Republican Staten Island and Brooklyn Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis says she's confident Republicans can sort this so-called floor fight out on their own sooner than later and do not need Democratic votes to pick a speaker. I think that you have 90% of the conference, including Jim Jordan, including also uh, the support, with the support of President Donald Trump, that have lined up behind Kevin McCarthy. Maliotakis says McCarthy has worked to accommodate the small minority of Republicans who want to see rule changes that she hopes will make the House run better and more transparently. She says voting against him at this point comes down to personality differences, and it's hurting her party and the public's perception of it. I'm hoping that this is simply a stain that we will be able to unite and move forward, elect Leader McCarthy, um, and let's pass meaningful legislation that we have ready to go. Let's pass it and show the American people that we are right on policy, that we are united when it comes to securing our border, restoring our energy independence, and getting this co country's economy back on track. So we'll see what happens after 8 o'clock tonight. Fortunately, there is no pressing business in front of the House. Most of that was taken care of at the end of last session before the holidays. But if this drags on, there are serious funding and national security implications.